It best be working. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Now oh, we're live. Are we live? We're live. We are. We're live. We're live, we're live. We're live and we're real. Ah, uh, we got our microphone. And it's. It's working? It's working this time. Yay. Hey, everybody. Cool. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Oh, my God. What is this show? This show. <laughs> this is Jack Z. This is. So it's Joke Zero. This is Joke Zero. Joke Zero. Joke Zero is a show uh, on the internet. It's a live comedy show in Los Angeles. But also, yeah. also wherever the internet is available. Right, but we're based out of Los Angeles. <laughs> true. Because don't you think yes. it's important to support live comedy in Los Angeles? <laughs> Always. Yeah. Well, I now do it often. Can, now you can do it without yeah. leaving your apartment. Yeah. Well, you did, but. Yes. I did. But. You did. Yeah, I love my apartment too. But our audience, our audience, and those are that's the important part. Yeah, best audience in the world. <laughs> yeah, Whoever's yeah. watching this right well, now. That's too bad that it's not live audience. I mean, it's live, but we don't have a live audience here because we should pa pause for laughs. Assuming there's like a bunch of people <laughs> in one room, so it's like you tell a joke and then yeah, yeah just let it sit. And that's pause for true. applause. Mm -hmm. Pause for applause. Yeah. Oh, um, that's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> is it a joke? There you go. Well, yeah, pause laugh. for applause. It is a rhyme. Uh, they laughed. Kind laughed. of a rhyme, isn't they, it? They know. Yeah. Yes, a rhyme isn't Rhymes a Rhymes are jokes, you know. Yeah, yeah in a way. <laughs> they kind of are, yeah. yeah. Rudimentary. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's why uh, songs yeah. are, are hilarious. <laughs> Every song. Songs are well, very songs, yeah. funny. Well, well, most really of, many of your jokes are based on songs. That's true. Musical jokes. Yeah. I do have many of those, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess there's some truth to that. Yeah, Sorry about leaving. me up. I forgot that I always have a pen in oh. my hand. And it makes me nervous to not have it in my hand. So uh, this is Joke Zero. Mm -hmm. You've probably seen the thumbnails at least. Just, yeah, I, I watched some, yes, when you asked me to be on the podcast, I watched some. Good, so amazing. you generally know what this is. Yeah, kind of, not really. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know if there was a pattern here. Okay, well, well there's, a, there's a, a concept to this show. Okay, great. Yeah. Let's it's, a, it's a high concept show. So okay. we are searching for the joke zero. Yeah. Which yeah, is you can continue. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, like the, like a joke that when boiled down to its basic elements does sort of is you could say it's where all other jokes come from. Right. So like the quintessential joke. Yes. What the heck? He actually got it. Well, I mean yeah. That's what I always say. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So kind of like the model T of jokes mm -hmm. or or uh, Vanilla blank. The model yeah. zinc of jokes. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Which is the quintessential prime time soap. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's very popular. Yeah. So how does it work? Do I do I just do we we go round robin here? Do we, yeah, that's we basically chat for a yeah. while? Um, there might be some chat, but maybe not. If you hear <laughs> oh, a, a, a low subtle whine or a high subtle whine, there's a dog that is locked away because he's been a bad boy. And um, he's whining. Somebody so, call PETA because there's some abuse going on. <laughs> okay. And someone call PETA because I want a sandwich. Oh, that's a joke. And maybe cold, is that a joke? Cold, yeah. Laughing. <laughs> there we go. Great. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we need to remember to add, remind me to add a laugh track. Great. Yeah. Hey, who, who are all of us? To, me. We haven't yeah. said who anybody who, is. Who anyone is that is said on this table right now. Yeah. Well, we've also haven't said we're also streaming on Mob Crush. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. So now we've said we said to say that we are on Mob Crush. We're on Mob Crush, and we're happy to be there. Yeah. Uh, well, they mostly a... stream video games. We don't play video games, but we could. We're here anyway. You don't play video games at all, even in your daily life. I played Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. I, like recently, I, or like in the nineties? Yeah, a few months ago. Yeah, I played a little while. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I, if I'm in like a barcade, I'll play, but right. I haven't played since I Is was a kid. Is that frequently that you're at a barcade? Yeah, every couple months. Mm -hmm. There's one in Echo Park that's pretty good. What's that one? Uh, Button Mash. What's, what's, your, what's your game? 
Well, I mean, when I was a kid, we played Goldeneye a lot. That was like that was probably like the game zero. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is the first video game. No, <laughs> no, no. Uh, but for me, it was like because yeah. Nintendo sixty four was like the the system which I sort of died on the hill for, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Where like beyond that video game system, it, I started to become like older and disinterested. So then they yeah. became harder to learn and do. Mm -hmm. yeah. But like N64 was like the best system I could do at the yeah. time. And then uh, now it's, it's, and then it'll never be as good as that. Right. Okay. Yeah, I think there's like, oh my gosh. So it's not a dog. He is a it's legit a human tied <laughs> up in there. But um, N64, yeah, it, it definitely, for me, too, came out of a time where you're like, you saw those graphics, and you're like, well, obviously, we've reached the pinnacle. Oh, they can't get better. They, like, uh, look at their 3D. Yeah. And I still sort of Blocky feel Blocky hands. But I still sort of feel that way. Like, I can't That's just because that's because Because we, we, we ejaculated, sorry, with a, a, another person at right. that point probably yeah. like or, or like i think at the point when you become an adult yeah that whatever like kid stuff you're into is just mm -hmm. like that's it that's where it stopped yeah and it'll never be like better than that you know because you've become a, like a, a fully fledged person i don't know i mean i'm sure there are people that still play video games a ton and whatever but i just <laughs> you think so <laughs> oh. <laughs> well who are like yeah. our age <laughs> yeah. who are like in their 30s and 40s yeah but you know 50s and 60s yeah they do i just feel yeah. like you're you always like love the stuff you grow up with Right. You know, it's like what right. Lauren Michaels says about like he can always tell when people are in high school based on their favorite cast on SNL. Saturday Night Live. Oh. Saturday Night, another comedy show that also streams oh, live uh, on yeah. Mob Crush. Trust me. <laughs> or NBC. There's, there's legal action pending. We're suing them. You're suing them yeah. for the rights to the show? For right. You should. Live, for, live, for live comedy. You should. I know. I mean, somebody takes them down a peg. What's it been? 45 I years? I don't know. I think we have to support. All live comedy. Oh, that's true. Including Saturday Night Live, mm -hmm. the yes. livest of live comedy. Plus, they're a separate mm -hmm. coast, so they have their audience. We have our audience. We do. We, we are do. we have the West Coast Saturday Night Live. And we're about neck and neck in as far as size, I think. And never the twain shall meet. No. Who who are we? Tell St. Louis. We still haven't said our names. Oh my God. Man, say it. Say well, I'm that man. Hello. <laughs> I'm Dan Banis. With us as always for the hour, for the hour as always, as always. <laughs> is Evan I'm, Watkins. Evan Watkins, I'm the guest. So, the, yeah. yeah. As always. As always for the hour. Oh, I see. Always for the whole <laughs> hour. I was maybe. like, did I sign to like come and do this every day? <laughs> but but uh, you're, you're a comedian. I suppose you could say that. I, I don't do stand up, but yeah. I do you're, characters. These days, come on. I guess, yeah. I, I just, I wouldn't call, like, when you asked me to do the show, I was like, okay, I guess I could pull it off. But I, I, I wouldn't call myself a joke writer, but I've written jokes before. Yeah. You know, but well, just in that's an interesting form. distinction you make there. Well, <laughs> yeah, it is. There's true. Joke writers are different than, like, writers who write narrative, I think. You yeah. Know, funny. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can do both, obviously. Then I'm sure there's tons of people that do both very well. Mm -hmm. But I think there is a distinction. Yeah. In some way. So yeah. that's my preface before I, Deliver my terrible jokes. <laughs> That's okay. Most of my jokes and Matt's are good. Mine are bad. Are great. The guest, it you know it it changes. Yeah. But um, sure. Yeah. So we'll see. But that's good to know. So um, I'll start one. I guess. Yeah. Just to yeah. get the let's do the it. Ball rolling. Um, <clears throat> so uh, as it happens, religious people live four years longer than atheists. Religious people live four years longer than atheists. <laughs> yeah, of course they do. They want to put off answering to God for all the shit they did as long as possible. <laughs> you know? Yeah. 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 It's like, uh, doy. It's, right? Yeah. So they live, they live longer yeah. on purpose. Right. <laughs> four whereas, years longer. Whereas atheists are like... Well, I can die. I got no one to answer to. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I am just smooth sailing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can get yeah. this life over with now <laughs> and not have to worry about anything? Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Excuse right. me, you said religious people live longer? Religious people live four years longer than atheistic people. Right, right, right. Because mm -hmm. they're trying to put off mm -hmm. answering to God. Yeah, for the horror of horrors of lives. 
Because everyone is sinful, you know, the eyes of the Lord. We, we all this have natural very, sin. This is a very Christian show. Well. <laughs> oh, no. It's a Christian comedy. I got to cut some of these jokes out. <laughs> uh, yeah, also, if you're an atheist, you can you get to fucking drink and smoke and do all the cool stuff. Yeah. I guess yeah. you can do that when you're a Christian, too. But. Yeah. Some of the most. You can't uh, kidnap people, Dan, and we know that's what's going on in there. Yeah. You keep yeah. saying it's a dog in the other room. but Some of the most. Uh, sound like human nails to me. That's true. But some of the most drunken people I know are Catholics. Irish Catholics. Right. Yeah. Is that right. what you were going to say? No. I'm not, I'm not racist. <laughs> but, um, no, but I. Yeah, well, okay, I mean, well, there's I, I Roman raised, Catholics yeah. and there's Irish Catholics. Right. The Roman Catholics don't drink at all. Mm-mm. No, just kidding. I was raised Catholic. Oh, and, okay. Um, and there's a lot of like drunken people I felt. But, well, you yeah. were born in uh, Michigan, right? Yeah. Post uh, collapse of the uh, car industry, um, it was happening. Yeah, while yeah. I was alive because I was I was born in the Rust Belt post collapse of the steel mill industry yeah. and mm-hmm. the coal mining industry. So I think there was just drunks for any reason. Right, our no collapse way. was far as it was like a slow motion right. car wreck. Yeah, no, 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 no. but it's it's on the comeback trail though. That's true. The- hey, I just bought a, a forty year old car, so you know things are looking great. Nice, Here's my keys, the old GM keys. Detroit is thrilled. Yeah, wow, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you have, a Chuck? Uh, sure. Yeah. Oh, which one should I do, though? Um, Any of them. I'll try this one. Uh, the Incredibles 2 earned $23.9 million on this past Monday, yesterday, uh, which made it the best Monday ever for an animated film. Uh, meanwhile, the worst Monday ever still belongs to the Garfield movie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Gosh, it never enjoys yeah. those. Even if he made a bunch of money, he still would hate money. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. That, that's true. I was at the theater last night and it was very busy for a Monday. Oh. Yeah, I saw the Mr. Rogers movie. Oh. Your joke checks out. Wait, you didn't even see Incredibles Part 2? No, I'm like, waiting to see that tomorrow. How do you know that? You just, the, you just meet the whole. No, menu. the theater was busy, just in the general, menu. like everybody. I yeah, I went to the landmark on Pico. Okay. Yeah. Give me some money, yeah. landmark. <laughs> Just shouted out to 20 million people. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Rogers was bustling, huh? Not that one, no. No, that was, that was not. I, I've gotten really bad with movie pass now where, like, yes. I hate sitting through trailers because A, you can see them anyway. Right. On the internet. B, there, there's, like, when it's like 25 minutes of trailers, it's such a boner kill for the movie. Like, you're like, you're in there, you're ready to go, and I'm like, okay, another trailer, you know? Mm-hmm. And and C, I eat all my popcorn and drink all my soda before the movie even starts, which is like, I hate that. Like, I want to just, like, have the popcorn. And then you probably have to pee during the movie because yes. you just drank all your soda. Yeah, it just aggro. So what I've tried to do is, like, buy my ticket, go do something, and then, like, time it out. So, like, let's say the movie starts at 7.40. Mm-hmm. I'll get there, like, I'll get into the theater at like eight, but that's, but that's a dangerous line because you yeah. don't always know how long those trailers that's go. Very Do you have dangerous. to like, like to sort of figure out theater by theater. Oh, this one does 50 minutes of trailers. Yeah. Like Arclight, obviously three. Minutes. No, seriously. I went to see King Kong Skull Island. I don't know why. And, uh, you have nothing to answer. the movie, the movie started at eight officially, but that movie did not actually play until eight 45. I shit you not. That's oh ridiculous. 45 minutes of like, Tra- just trailers, straight up trailers. It was, it was, that was at Regal. Hmm. So, Regal bad, landmark good. Wow. Oh. You're in it here first. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow, the stock market's going to be all. Yeah, it's going to go. Yeah. But, um, Martin how about this? Yeah. <laughs> how about this when um, he watches our show? But, um, when the, when the movie you're looking for, you're not excited about, but you spend not watching a movie, you're wasting your money yeah I've you're going broke feel that. <laughs> yeah <laughs> what do you have a joke i do i have a joke this is this is all right <clears throat> okay there's a debate amongst people on how to pronounce the name of a popular soda water drink Lacroix or la croix but in reality it's just pronounced hipster bullshit <laughs> <laughs> thank, you. thank you that's also true of the uh, soda yanny <laughs> no, <laughs> Yanni soda. Yanni soda. Um, um, I think you mean 
whatever else people heard. Hey, Laura, yeah, Laura. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. I well, got that's it. what I heard, actually. There's a, I, I, get it, remember that. I get it in this great market on uh, Yanny Cannon Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a funny track. I I'm can't sure. believe I hadn't heard that. I'm, nice. You've heard that. Come on. <laughs> I, I, you know, I think uh, Yanni never got – he didn't get anything from that, did he? Did he get any press from that? The, well, the he got guy? this promotion just now. Did he? Yeah. I feel like he tweeted about it. I, I think he's like, uh, yeah, the Acropolis tour. That was yeah. that's what he's been doing. <laughs> Still, I guess. I, guess it I don't know. It just says the Acropolis like, tour. See Laurel in concert. Yeah, <laughs> the, the Acropolis um, tour. Game of Thrones star Alfie Allen joins new uh, films Jojo Rabbit and How to Build a Girl. It's unknown what characters he'll be playing in the two films, but one thing is for certain, both will have their cocks cut off. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he chooses for roles. Violence. Yeah. Well, he famously uh, had it, was dismembered. In Game of Thrones. In right? Game of Thrones. I, know, I, I don't watch the show. So. Yeah, me neither. Really? And now I don't. You look like a Game of Thrones guy in a way. Uh, why? You mean a, someone who watches Game of Thrones or just a regular not. person? You look like a guy who got his dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I don't know. I had a red wedding in the sense that uh, it was during her period. No, uh, <laughs> no, I, I never watched it. I just uh, <laughs> that was great. I'll cross one off yeah, the list. Yeah. No, I like. I never got into it, uh, and I, I don't have anything against it. It was just by the time. I had like any free time to watch it. We were like four seasons in, and I was like, I don't want to start from the beginning. Yeah, I've watched one episode with. Oh, someone. how was that? <laughs> Confusing, yeah. but good. I recognize the high production value. And right. Good, I mean, they're like making a fucking movie every time. Mm -hmm. That's that's yeah. the main thing at this point. It's high production value. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it just seems like really stupid, though. Right. That's like the... a stupid thing that no one should care about. Well, that's the downside, but yeah. the upside is production value. Yeah. yeah, that's true. You know, like fantasy stuff. Did you watch Lord of the Rings? And all Actually, stuff? yeah, no, I didn't watch any Lord of the Rings either. either. Star what about Wars Muppets? Or... Those are fantastic. No, it's Muppet, but Muppets are real. <laughs> well, they are physically real. I mean, yeah. you got you there. Dragons, the dragon thing is yeah, there's CGI. No, there's no CGI yeah. in Muppets because they use real Muppets. Oh uh, yeah. They had to have in like those recent Muppet movies though. They had to use some CGI, like for like Why? scenes like, with they... legs. Right. You know, no, they use uh, the wow. Muppets just use themselves because they're, they're real beings that exist. All right, let's leave this one alone. I don't, I, I don't know. Maybe I don't need to keep up the same reality I do on my Muppet Babies podcast where I say that it's all real. All right. Uh, I, maybe I can acknowledge here that it's not real. Not Spoiler. Too. Sorry. Apologies to Eileen Mary O'Connell. She's watching you. and She's I broke you. our reality. I'm angry. Um, well, what do you have? A Muppet joke? Um, yeah, so uh, the Muppets... No, I don't have a Muppet joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I do have... Uh, uh, no, I won't do that one yet. <laughs> That's too similar to one that was recently said. Oh, here we go. Justice League and Daddy's Home 2 yeah. are among the movies nominated for the Teen Choice Awards, mm -hmm. which proves, once again... That teens are not skilled when it comes to making good choices. Yes. <laughs> this is true. Those are their choices. Well, don't choose that, yeah. guys. Guys, Daddy's don't... Home 2 is not that bad. <laughs> I John, thought, I honestly. John thought... Lithgow turned in a hell of a performance. I thought the trailer looked really funny. And I never saw the first one. It looked terrible to me. But I saw the trailer for the second one. I'm like, John Lithgow and Mel Gibson mucking it up with these two rascals? Like. Perfect casting. I, I I'll I tell you, I saw I, the first one looked terrible. I saw the first one was actually okay. Mm -hmm. Second trail, second movie trailer looked good. Second movie not great. Okay. But like again, Movie Pass, my judgment is so off the floor. Yeah. I have no incentive to be upset when I spent like a nickel on a movie. Yeah, yeah. Well, part three, hopefully, well, mm -hmm. it'll really come back. Everything right. Yeah. 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 Whose joke is it? I think it's mine. And yeah. since we're on movies, I'll, I'll, joke is it anyway? I'll move to a movie. <laughs> I'll move to a movie joke. Cool. Because I have one. Uh, they're making a third Bill and Ted movie where Bill and Ted go back in time to find out just what happened to Alex Winter's career. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Burn on Alex Winter. Yeah, yeah. take that, yeah. Alex Winter. Wow. Like a regular Ricky Gervais skewer. <laughs> 
Right, right, right. Yeah. Skewering Hollywood at the Golden Globes. Yes. Right? Yeah. It's a contemporary reference. What I'm wearing that? a black shirt like he does. That's so. true. Kind of. <laughs> About I, think he's lighter. Just, I think uh, this is not nice to bring up yeah, like when you talk about Louis C.K. But I think that Jerry J- Gervais started doing that because he thought Louis C.K. was so cool. And if he thinks so. I think it's a slimming outfit too. Yeah, it's like a wearing a black time. shirt is very slimming. I'm feeling a little bloated today. Well, you look slim. But Thank you. But it, it's the shirt. shirt. It's the shirt that doesn't yeah. work. It's like, oh, it's like you're. Your torso is like almost invisible. Yeah, <laughs> it's as yeah. if it's hidden. Yeah, by a table. It's a floating head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really yeah. creeping me out. <laughs> but the good news is um, the joke to cheer you up. Yeah, uh, a border chief says that uh, illegal kids have playstations and pool tables in shelters. Continued the border chief. So you, you know, do they really need parents? <laughs> <laughs> I'd give up a. Dumb foreign parent for a pool table <laughs> and a PlayStation any day. I think a lot of kids do that. <laughs> Stupid mom. Yeah. Couldn't even get me into America without yeah. getting thrown in jail. <laughs> Who's the real victim in all of this? I think it's the all of us who had parents, but yeah. Pool tables. Yeah. Pool table. And if you did, uh, you're a spoiled little piece of shit. So mm-hmm. yeah. Everyone knows that. Oh well, uh, this was a big story. Uh, Microsoft announced that Microsoft Office is getting a new, simpler look. Uh, in addition, Clippy will now be seen wearing sweatpants and slippers. <laughs> you guys remember Clippy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever happened to that guy? Uh, well, people stop using Microsoft Word, don't they? Does anybody have it for like their Apple? Yeah, uh, probably not. I, I mean, I did for it. a while. But, but then Clippy went away because, yeah. like, cartoon helpers went away. Right. Yeah. In general, people just knew they were yeah. annoying. Pretty much. But, but now Clippy will be in sweatpants and <laughs> sandals, just chilling out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love Clippy. 15% of that. Clippy's marriages end in sweatpants, I understand. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's like statistics. 13%? Is that what you said? 50%. 50%. Yeah. 50%, yeah. Clippy That's what, uh, Clippy's going to get married to the annoyed guy from Domino's Pizza. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. What do their kids look like, though? Sorry, mm, abominations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, just freaks of nature. Yeah, just like, <laughs> kill me. <laughs> I come out all weird, red suited clip, uh, paper clips <laughs> with sweatpants. Yeah. I got one. This is a short one, short but sweet, to the point. A priest and a rabbi walk into a school and are immediately shot and killed. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Got dark Rip on that. From one. the headlines. <laughs> that really happened. Yeah, no, good. not a priest and a rabbi. <laughs> well, that's true. Yeah. Sorry to bring the mood down. But that's fine. I thought it was funny in a way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Jeff Bezos is now uh, Amazon.com founder. Oh, Jeff yeah. Bezos is now worth $141 billion, $900 million. And in a related story, the guy, the guy who founded Pets.com finally got a replacement sock after ruining his last one, turning it into a dog's face. <laughs> <laughs> so they, everyone's doing good. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah. Pets.com. Mm-hmm. Mm. I could use Pets.com right now. To, uh, no, actually, I think, I think the pet... I think the pet has escaped through the window. Yeah, he's quiet now. Mm-hmm. He's, yeah, he is he's quiet now. As they he's should. a good boy. He just sometimes is not. He's a wild animal. You can't expect him to do everything you say. <laughs> he yeah. went to school. We took him to training. You yeah, can't, you can't train a wild animal. Yeah. It's still in there. <laughs> Matt, what do you got? Uh, what do I got? Um, Anything pet related? Um, got one as dark as mine? I got... Um, this past Sunday was Father's Day. Oh. Or as it's also known, talk to your dad on the phone for five minutes before he hands the phone to your mother day. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's okay. Good. That's pretty good. Yeah. I called my parents then. My dad didn't pick up. I think he was sleeping. Well, that's, that's what dads do. Be. He sleeps intermittently through the day. So and that's what dads do. He's retired. <laughs> it's his day, though. You know? It's true. Well, yeah. every day is Father's Day. If that's the case. <laughs> I guess. That's very true. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. funny. I spoke to my dad. Yeah. 
for an hour. <laughs> no, really? Oh, yeah. Not five minutes. I was surprised. I mean, usually that is closer to what it is, but he was in a chatty, a regular chatty Kathy. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, my mom's name is Kathy, which is strange. But his name is not yeah. Kathy. What's his name? Dan. Wow. My Wait, your name's Dan, Dan Jr. Wait a minute. <laughs> you are your dad. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> is that normal? It, no, it's not normal. It, do you normally like it's like a five minute conversation with like one word answers to everything? Uh, it's pretty, pretty much common. Normal, yeah. yeah. Usually, well, my my dad passed away not to bring oh, things down for there. It was geez, a few years ago. I'm sorry. Was it's he a priest fine. or a rabbi walking to a school? He was neither really? of those things. Okay, good. Um, Did he ever walk into a school? Yeah. Oh, wow. uh, but uh, our conversations. It would usually be like, uh, uh, how's your car running? Yeah. Uh, and then like, uh, uh, how's, how's working? You need any money? All right, let me put your mother on. Wow. <laughs> You're offering the money up. Nice. Yeah. He had one, he had one of those silver sm- spoon guys. <laughs> silver, <laughs> silver moon in his mouth. Silver yeah. moon in his mouth. All right, who's next? Who's got the next? Yeah. Oh, man, geez, it's already been around. Yeah. yeah. If you like, if you did like a caramel apple, how many calories? You could maybe fit a lot. I mean, yeah. Let's let's try to th- figure that out. It's called the Doctor <laughs> Keep Away Apple, and it's got like mozzarella sticks hanging out of it, and it's like yeah, dipped in caramel, but <laughs> Jesus, like sprayed with butter. What yeah. about protein? Is there any protein in there? Well, I mean, mozzarella sticks. I mean, there's yeah, protein and cheese. True. There's well, protein, yeah, yeah. well, what's like what's the highest cal- caloric? Maybe steak. I don't know. Probably talking about calories, not necessarily like fat. Right. Yeah. I mean, you put some like some, you put some nuts on that, nuts, right? People, yeah. put, nuts put nuts on nuts caramel on. apple. I'm, I'm, oh, yeah. You're just trying to make it a straight up caramel apple. <laughs> I'm just. I'm a purist. If you put enough caramel, enough nuts on it, it'll get to that. No, that it's this big, really, and then apples yeah, like just, in the middle. Yeah. I mean, a caramel apple does fit plenty of like food groups when you get down to it like, well the, the caramel is completely useless though right because yeah, it's not even good sugar not much in there yeah, yeah but like nuts do a lot and apples are pretty good and if you eat the stick, stick that's a lot of fiber too. yeah you so eat, it's the got stick. Two eat the food stick. groups. yeah and you're just missing a couple wrap it in bread we deep fry it yeah yeah that is go. true that would not keep the doctor away yeah i yeah. have a feeling he'd be Either that or he just let you die. <laughs> but oh, speaking of all that, um, that insurance. Kevin uh, Spacey has a new film coming out, uh, Billionaire Boys Club, coming to theaters this August. No word yet on how the boys made their billions, <laughs> but I'm willing to bet Kevin Spacey knows. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, with a little help from uh, Brian Singer. Yeah, um, exactly. <laughs> yeah. He's one of the backing funders. <laughs> In more ways than one. Oh, how many ways? I don't know, two ways. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess there's two holes. Yeah. What? In in a movie, in a movie's financial funding, there's two holes in the funding. Right. Yeah, and you got to fill those holes with money. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know you know that. Yeah, I don't know much about oh, finances. It's not a film uh, protection. <laughs> Kind of yeah. All I'm saying, if, if Kevin Spacey's handing out billions of dollars, then I'll I'll, I'll do it. Sign me yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> um, well, let's... Brian Singer, give this guy a call. Well, yeah. um, you can see me at the Landmark Theater. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> Donald Trump. Uh, remember that guy? Who? Donald Trump yeah. uh, got into a feud with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. You know, it's actually, it's gotten so bad that Trump said Trudeau, more like fake dough. <laughs> it's fake dough. <laughs> <laughs> it's fake dough. Uh, <coughs> that is something he would say. And people would be like, so clever. Yeah. Why did he come up with that? Yeah. Space Force. Yeah. That's, that's but name. it is sometimes funny when he comes up with those stupid names, you know? Like, it's just silly it's so it's, yeah exactly if he wasn't such a monster yeah. i would love it because yeah. i like joe biden because he was kind of right a, he was kind of a doofus yeah but at least his heart was in the right place yeah this guy's a doofus and he's just evil yeah, yeah. it's hard to laugh yeah, yeah. but when the early parts when he was just like at the like uh debates and he's just like, like, pop, 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 being yeah. ridiculous i mean 
I, it was something to see. Yeah, <laughs> when, when, when I... When, and it was like, oh, he's not going to be president. Yeah. Let's just watch when, this when, dummy. When it looked like a, like a Molotov cocktail, like he was <laughs> throwing that into the Republican Party. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, blow it up. <laughs> and then when he got elected, I was like, oh, God. That's, that's what happens when you play with fire. Yeah. What happens? You get you ruin your country. Trumped. Uh, is it my turn? Yeah. Uh, okay. Bitcoin has gone from a value of zero to six thousand seven hundred four dollars per American dollar in just three years. Meaning that if you'd invested in Bitcoin, you'd still be a creepy douchebag. Because <laughs> nobody's really doing that, right? Dad, you've got some Bitcoin. Right? Oh no. <laughs> I do. I do. Really? <laughs> So how's, your joke how's is it working accurate. out? It was going great, and now it's not. No, oh, really? Yeah, this, my joke is not accurate. Yeah. Well, it says yeah. it says online. It says it's six thousand seven hundred four dollars per dollar. Yeah, but earlier this year it was nineteen thousand dollars per coin. Why didn't you sell? That's a good question. But how do you do that? What do you? I don't know. How would you even offload that? It's uh, you buy what, it. who buys Bitcoin? Like, what are you buying with Bitcoin? You just. Uh, hold it for the, it's a currency so if you don't, if you can't <laughs> so, spend it on anything it's not a, it's not a currency well it is i mean you can some people take are you going to buy like a fucking missile in russia or something you could oh, nice. black market i know <laughs> yeah um oh wow this is crazy though okay marriage is quote literally good for the heart it helps ward off heart disease and stroke meanwhile marriage is quote figuratively terrible for the heart it destroys any semblance of romantic feeling. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. yeah, that's how you feel about marriage. It ends in sweatpants. <laughs> it's the joke, <laughs> and that is truth in comedy. So yeah, I do. I uh, you it's yeah you had a very bad. bitter divorce. Yes, many. I don't know. No, that's no my divorce went great. No, I've never been divorced. <laughs> We're still happily married. <laughs> what? Who are you talking about? Who's Me and my dog. You and your puppy. Baby. Yeah, the dog. You're happily married. They're not human. <laughs> no, I've never married a dog. <laughs> I wanted to not put yet. that out there. Yeah. I'm a, I, it's an so expensive bachelor. process. It's kind of scary. Marriage? Yeah. Or not if you invested in Bitcoin. Oh, my God. But then I'd be a creepy douchebag and nobody would love me. <laughs> no, I, 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 the, people are saying that it's going to be up to 60000 in 2020. <laughs> So what do I need? If, do, do I need six thousand dollars to get one Bitcoin? No, you can buy a fraction. You you could buy like ten dollars worth of Bitcoin, which is just a fraction of a Bitcoin. So if I put in ten bucks now, in the future, it could be worth a few thousand bucks. Hundred bucks. Yeah. Wow, that'd be great. I could really use that money. Yeah. Cool. Great. Thanks yeah. for you got me on board. No problem. Yeah. Well, uh, here's some news. Uh, the surviving members of Led Zeppelin reunited to announce their new book about the band, which will come out in October. This marks the first time Robert Plant was excited about a book that had nothing to do with hobbits. <laughs> There's a Lord of the Rings journey. There we go. See, yeah. like fantasy. Yeah, well, I just know that Robert Plant just loves, loves writing about hobbits. You like rock music. I like rock music. He does like rock music. And unfortunately, rock music likes fantasy. Well, Robert uh, Plant does. Right. A lot of other rock, people, yeah. A lot of rock music. Yeah. Jack Black. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Jack Black and Robert Plant, the two best rock musicians. <laughs> uh, speaking of glue, <laughs> is it strange that Elmer's glue, which is made out of horses, has a bull for its mascot? Of course not. Bulls hate horses. That's true. That's, That's a good joke because it's based in real life. Elon Musk alleges extensive sabotage by a Tesla employee. The saboteur is Elon Musk, and the sabotage is his recent Twitter activity. Oh. oh. That's right. He tweeted stuff. <laughs> what is he tweeting? <laughs> he tweets sassy stuff like how he's like all socialists they're just uh privileged kids who went to college and were snotty humorless i don't know well, what's I his problem with it. socialism he's just being snotty i know? thought he was like a liberal or he's something. a libertarian more oh, he's really? like a liberal liberal libertarian. a libertarian is just somebody who's wants to keep their land and their gun but aren't republicans sort well, of right i feel like there's like like the current libertarian which is like crazy and like the real libertarian where it would they, they support libraries 
Right. Well, like they're, they're like. Shh. <laughs> I feel like a lot of libertarians just like only focus on financial stuff and then just are like, just don't really care about social issues at yeah. all. But like, yeah, the real libertarian is like, you know, socially liberal and fiscally conservative. <clears throat> right. Okay. Yeah. Which I do enjoy. I appreciate it in theory, but I feel like it it doesn't work in reality. Yeah, it, it doesn't. No, it. Well, yeah. But uh, in a perfect world, I would think. Yeah, if we had started it, if there government was like, zero. Yeah. Hello. If, we could do it if, that way. If no one was greedy, right. then yeah, libertarianism would be great. Yeah. If it was like, oh, well, we won't take advantage of all this stuff, then sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But it's weird. People, yeah, people do. Hard. What's yours? Is it on me? You got one? Yeah, I think yes, so. Sir. Oh, man. Well, uh, so one I wanted to do. Uh, sure, I'll do this one. The Dave Matthews Band have scored their seventh number one album. However, they're still trying to score their first black fan. <laughs> They have a black guy so in the true. group, too. Uh, he doesn't like the music. Why am I in this band? I, I've played in band. I was like, this sucks. <laughs> not the one I'm in now. but I, I like Dave Matthews Band well enough. Sure. But I'm not uh, we'll check your feet. Let me check your feet. Let's see. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's got sandals. <laughs> he's wearing those uh, Velcro, yeah, we Velcro know sandals. He's not black. No, I'm saying, no, I know he likes Dave Matthews. Yeah. <laughs> but you guys want a I, hacky later. I don't yeah. know if there's a thing that black people don't like sandals. No, that's not. That's no, no, if you're the black people can wear whatever footwear they want. I can see that as a stereotype. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's not. But that first album of Dave Matthews' band, uh, Under the Table and Dreaming, very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Highly recommend. Go out and get that. We will. Yeah. Uh, okay, I got one. Uh, if you live in Mexico and you have a stutter, are you constantly ordering two Dos Equis on accident? No. Yeah, think about that one for a second. Mm. <laughs> or, <laughs> I love it when the jokes have to be like, you got to think, guys. Think about it. Or are you ordering four Equis? <laughs> four Equis. You could, yeah. yeah that's what I have to think as well. <laughs> you, could, you could order four Equis, but you know. Why would but you do that? Dos, dos equis, yeah. yeah. Do, what dos what equis. is an equis? Beats the hell out of me. Yeah. Equis. Hmm. You can look is it, it up. a horse? Oh, yeah, it's made out of horses. It's like Elmer's yeah. glue. It's just a callback. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, similarly, though, while you're looking that up, mm -hmm. today's internet is not sustainable, experts warn. Turns out it's running out of cyberspace. <laughs> is that true? <laughs> yeah, it's true. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, say it again. That, that was the infinite. setup is true. The setup what, what, what was the game? Well, say the joke again. Because I just found out X is, it just means X. So that's why it's so oh, yeah. two X X's 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 on it. We should have fucking known that. Yeah, yeah, I knew that at one point. Today's it's... internet is not sustainable. Experts warn, which is what experts do a lot. Mm -hmm. Turns out it's running out of cyberspace. <laughs> God. See what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised there isn't a spider and a web uh, in, in that joke somewhere. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> the worldwide the spider. Worldwide, yeah. 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 Well, you yeah. know, I'll look for it on the next episode. The next episode of Joke Zero. See you then. Wait, we still have more time. Uh, yeah. Sunday was the anniversary of the birth of artist MC Escher. A celebration was held in his honor, but it descended into chaos when guests couldn't figure out how to use the staircases. <laughs> I just got, <laughs> how do I, which one? This one goes sideways. I'm upside down now. I'm upside yeah. down now. Um, I've lost my hat. I, it sounds like a crazy party. Though. <laughs> yeah. You have to wear like magnetic boots, you know, and it, like keeps yeah. you like on the. They're, they're probably like, oh, someone's got to invite Dali, and then they'll just melt all the stairs. Yeah, yeah. Get out yeah, of yeah. <coughs> yeah. I tripped on a melting clock. I fell down 18 <laughs> stairs that went in eight di different directions. I fell down 18 stairs and ended up on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a good joke. Yeah. Oh, boy. That's uh, like a, a sketch, right? Yes. Yeah, so. MC Escher house party? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you'd have to shoot it, I think. I don't know if you could do it live. <laughs> um, I got, okay, I got one. Uh, I once scalped fake tickets to a guy, but he paid me in counterfeit money, so it all evened out. 
That's good. Yeah. It's Happy ending. It's worth a chuckle. Mm. It's not true. It didn't happen, but. <laughs> well, here's an interesting uh, thing. St a startling human interest story. Okay. A gunshot victim that was then covered with sh a sheet began breathing again. But before you start feeling too good about this story, now that he was covered in the sheet because he was a Klansman. <laughs> oh. Joke in a twist. Wow. Twist joke. Did he live? Um, unfortunately, he lived. <laughs> yeah. Let's go find him. He's a bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. That's the guy. And this is when you tell us it's the person you have locked up in your room. It's been clawing. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. What do you got, Matt? Oh, well, uh, Steve Miller and Peter Frampton are recording an album together. The album will be called Merry Christmas, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's great. That's really good. <laughs> yeah. They tour together, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about going to see them. <laughs> Probably be fun. That would be a perfect title. Like, just they really should be called that. You don't have to put anything on it, you know? Yeah, they could they could make it's it like the shape of a tag. You know? They should do like a like a section of it. So it's Merry Christmas, comma, and then you write your dad's name in. Yeah, because <laughs> you can I'm personalize it. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Carl. It could also be Merry Christmas, uncles. Yeah, yeah. yeah there you go, sister. Yeah, my two uncles. That's <laughs> it. Well, that's crazy. Someone with two uncles. I know. <laughs> I know. Well, that's sitcoms for you. Only on television. Only in Hollywood. Weird, even. <laughs> Only, you know, I used Weird to live. In, I used to live in this neighborhood too. On Highland Mount, Park. Yeah, Mount Washington. Oh, sure. Yeah. With the late great Bill Kessler. No, he's alive. <laughs> but he lives in Mount Washington. He lives in my old place. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. When I moved out, he and he lived with my brother for a little bit, and then my brother moved in with his girlfriend. And then Bill got roommates. Huh. But it, <clears throat> when I was living there, I was only paying three fifty a month. Whoa. Yeah. Good. God. But it was infested with ants. Just every summer, ants. That's a, honestly a small price. No, it was bad. It was really bad. It was the kind where, like, they'd be on your bed. Well, that's a small price to pay for a small price to pay. <laughs> that's true. That's a joke. Mm -hmm. What else do you got? Is it your turn? It's your turn. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to do. I don't believe the myth that Chinese people put dogs in their food because um, my chow mein tasted nothing like my dog's penis. <laughs> <laughs> these are uh these these I, these I came up with late at night <laughs> no I, I think that's oh. good <laughs> yeah. it's just there's a lot there's definitely not joke zero no, no, there's a lot going on in my brain on that one because it was called a chow main and there was like a chow <laughs> it's like a dog. dog i know but uh, i couldn't i couldn't put like you know uh, chicken lo mein because then yeah. it's like a chicken in it. Right. Confuses it. You gotta you gotta think of like a what's like a better uh, Chinese dish that's like kind of neutral that has egg meat in roll, it. My wonton. But my egg roll sounds like my yeah, dick, and my sounds... wonton sounds like my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Everything in of... Chinese food is, is sexual. <laughs> I can't think of any food that doesn't remind me of your uh, S specifically genitals. mine. Yeah. Yeah. But uh. uh Quasi related now. Okay, here we go. Monsanto is squaring off with a man dying of cancer in a Roundup trial. Monsanto Roundup. It's a real David and Goliath story. If Goliath won and David slowly died of cancer. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's a sad one. Hey, speaking of you, like classic rock. Neil Young hates Monsanto. <laughs> It's like yeah. a whole anti Monsanto album. Or something. Yeah, he wrote a whole <laughs> album about yeah. Monsanto. That's weird. Most rock stars love, love Monsanto. Monsanto. Yeah. Robert yeah. Plant loves Monsanto yeah. almost as much as uh, Lord of the Rings. It's like, this is Ozzy Osbourne, and you're listening to the Monsanto Network. <laughs> that kind of thing. Crazy train. You'd have to be crazy to not love no. Monsanto. To not, to not round up your weeds. <laughs> you have to be crazy, man. <laughs> Uh, well, it's me, right? Yeah, I think yes, so. Sir. Oh, man. What joke should I do? Um, a new strain of marijuana hmm. has been named after LeBron James. 
Uh, pot smokers say the weed is not as good as a marijuana named after Michael Jordan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just true. It's just true. It's a fact. Fact. You also know like that, that weed gets you uh, almost high, but then stops short <laughs> almost oh, yeah. high. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got one here. Uh, sure. Speaking of sports. Statistics show that by the year 2022, the Super Bowl will be a commercial competition with one minute breaks for a football game to occur. A court. I did that last line in <laughs> New Orleans feet. <laughs> a football game to a cool. The cool. The cool. It's probably true. Man. Well, no, I just feel like every time I literally I do get aggravated when I watch the Super Bowl because it is so much marketing in your face yeah. and it's like so so little about the actual game mm-hmm. and i'm a football purist is that is yeah. that a fact no but I, <laughs> I i if i'm gonna watch a sporting event i'd prefer it to be about the sport and not yeah. like beyonce and fucking pepsi and all that right oh no oh, no the person is away <laughs> well he like he should have been a good boy if he wanted to hang out with us <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fair. whatever yeah okay yeah Oh, a few study find Americans can't tell fact from opinion. But I disagree with that. I believe a few study finds Americans can tell fact from <laughs> opinion. <laughs> That's pretty good. That might be joke zero. Yeah, pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Could be joke zero. I mean, do you want joke zero to be about like caveman shit? Like it's all it's always gonna <laughs> be like it's always going to be something right. like it's like, like it, the, the modernity of your topic is always going to make it feel very like too too new. I think that's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Just start doing like jokes about like building fires and making rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Or making wheels. Yeah. It's like wheel the the wheel looks more to me like the um, <laughs> cylindrical rock. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah. I'm just trying to get. In the headspace of a yeah. caveman. Yeah, you'd probably just be thinking about eating meat and yeah. having sex. Yeah. Which isn't far off from what I'm thinking about. Common too. life. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, speaking of of modern references, mm-hmm. Moby <laughs> Moby announced he is selling his entire record collection for charity. Wow. However, to raise the most amount of money. He's been advised to remove from the collection all records by Moby. Uh, <laughs> eat it, Moby. Yeah. Nobody likes you. <laughs> you dick. I always what? oh, oh there you go. I always get his here's the here's the things I get mixed up. Coldplay, right. Radiohead, right. Moby. Right. I can't mm. tell the difference. I, I know Moby's bald. One one yeah. of, Moby's so, a person. Moby's a person, <laughs> right? And, but but his band sounds like that kind of right, like Radiohead I mean, and Coldplay. Well, if, to me, they all sound pretty different. But yeah, Moby. I mean, he, Moby's got a lot of different sounds. And which one's the one with the guy who has like the weird eye who keeps like? That's like, Radiohead. Okay, it's and then Cold, Coldplay is what do they do? Um, they do that yellow. Yeah, clocks and yellow yeah, and uh, Coldplay is like is the bad one, right? They're very <laughs> mocked. And mockable, you know. Right. They get a bad rap like Kiss. Yeah, no, I don't think they're not like, they're a lot like Kiss. I think some people think. <laughs> you guys they, like Kiss because you're from Detroit. All, they no, wear, they I'm more makeup. defending Coldplay than Kiss right now. Yeah. Okay. But because Kiss is like spectacle and Coldplay is melodic indie pop rock. Okay. With not a spectacle. But I do feel both of them are more like, they're the, the most commercially versions of what they do. Or like sense. that band Train. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Those are they're great. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, all right. I only know the ones. Is it my turn? Yes, sir. Is okay. it or is it my turn? Maybe it's your turn. Who just went? Probably Maybe you just went. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay well, no, I just went. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh. that's true. They never go. Good Jury for Jury. for life. Probably. One time I was uh, I was at jury duty and they were like, they said they they got to me and was like, have you ever had any run in with the police? And I said yes. He said, well, what happened? And I was like, well, I was pulled over and uh, they they uh, gave me a breathalyzer and they arrested me for our DUI charge. And he said, so you were drinking. And I went, or no, he said, he said, so you were drunk. And I said, barely like that. <laughs> Huge laughs, standing uh-huh. ovation. And then they let me out. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> you got big laughs. I got big laughs. I, mean, I got big laughs in the, in the, in the trunk. Oh, that's like 
like a double win. Yeah. Ups and and they crazy. and they got me out of there. I would be afraid that they'd be like, oh, we want the funny guy in because um, our jobs are so boring. Yeah, yeah. The keep, yeah it's going to be a long trial. We yeah. need somebody to ease the tension. Exactly. The last time I was called in for, for jury duty and I like was on, I was, I didn't make it where they were like selecting the final jurors, but I was like in like the, the box. But I didn't, I didn't say it, but I was thinking that uh, if like did anyone have any issues or anything, I want to say that I had a problem with both lawyers and how they are trying to tell jokes to endear themselves to the jury. <laughs> <laughs> I can like kind of see through That's funny. that tactic and I'm, I, Dislike both lawyers. It's funny. But I dislike them equally. So yeah. I don't know if they just keep me on just to be yeah. next to me. Yeah, I, I didn't say anything. You got to sing about one lawyer. Yeah. I used to date that person. <laughs> we had a long relationship. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Or, or you can say, the lawyers are undressing me with their eyes. I can yeah. see it. They're looking at me. They keep looking at my neckline. They're going down. It's, it's yeah. Bad. Judge, we get, you get me out of here. I find like, yeah. one. I find one of the lawyers just a little too attractive. Yeah, there you right, go. Right. Yeah. Uh, I think more like a prosecuting attorney. That's a, that's <laughs> and then an old the judge, joke I used to do. It just gets uh, all right. You're free to leave, and you're like, I'm gonna need to sit here for a few more minutes. <laughs> Can't really get up. Then you definitely need to leave. Yeah. I would just be like, well, I dated that lawyer, and then it, the lawyer's like, no, you didn't. I'm like. This is so like you know, <laughs> this hurts. This, this hurts is her up and down. Yeah. So anyway, um, oh my gosh, huge news story yeah. happened, um, <laughs> wherein <laughs> oh yeah. here we go. Uh, Fox News reports there are 19 ways your dog is secretly communicating with you. Number one is barking. <laughs> Number two is scratching at the door. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Too close to the too close to home. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Do you have any new? That one's a little rough. Yeah. <laughs> a little racy. Uh, see, I got another joke, but which one should I do? Uh, I did Led Zeppelin already. No, I did Microsoft. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, that one's like a joke I already did. Maybe I'll do it anyway. Yeah, do it again. And this is also like a joke I already did. Um, well, hey, Barry Manilow <laughs> uh, recently celebrated. No, I can't talk. <clears throat> Barry Manilow recently celebrated his 75th birthday. Uh, if you were already aware of this information, congratulations on being an aunt. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of his jokes involve like the reveal of a, of a, of a <laughs> lamer older family figure, yeah, yeah. dads, yeah. uncles, aunts, yeah. Who's, I don't know. They're not lame. They can be. <laughs> ants, ants are cool. Dads are cool. Right? Yeah, we all know I get it. it. I, you, you don't say No, but yeah. Sure. No, I'm the just, things I'm that they like are lame. The stereotypical yeah. desires and yeah. enjoyments. The desires of an ant. Ants Barry love Manilow. Barry Manilow, Neil Diamond. Oh, my God. If Barry Manilow had a song called The Desires of an Ant, it would go multi-platinum. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It would just be him saying his name over and over again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then, like, a comfortable thing for my back. <laughs> uh, if you, Okay, here's one. This is probably my last one. Okay. If you burp the words, excuse me, it's like you've never burped at all. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. It's just like poetry. words of wisdom. Yeah. yeah it's like it negates it. Like, yeah. you didn't burp, but you didn't say excuse me. They just. Yeah, you excused yourself as it came out of your as It came it's out like of your mixing, mouth. Yeah. like, an acid with a base. Yeah. Right? Sure. Neutralize. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like the wow. fun dip stick and then the sugar. Mm-hmm. They're polar opposites chemically. Is that true? No, I'm making that. <laughs> up. Well, I, I think that's good advice, though. Regardless, yeah. <laughs> yeah. try try to try to burp the words "excuse me" next time. And if you can fart the words "I'm sorry," that's very impressive. Oh, what if you fart? You fart. Uh... Wow, it smells really bad in here, right, guys? Who did that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I touch vocal cords to my anus just to do that. <laughs> well, here's a, a nice story that happened. A teen dying of cancer is selling bracelets to survive. His oncologist urged chemo, but the teen insisted. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> I wasn't there, you know. <laughs> oh my god! I feel, I feel like you always save the cancer jokes for the very end. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I do that? I don't know. <laughs> well, you're gonna bring everybody down. You gotta do it later. <laughs> uh, I, I like it. I think it's funny. <laughs> it doesn't do the chemo, but the, it's yeah. fun. That's uh, good. Should we do after uh, one, this one, one more each? Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. So, um, what else did I have? I have a joke about Pearl Jam. You <laughs> talk about Stranger Things, Shaquille O'Neal. Any any requests? Yeah, John Travolta joke. Give me the. Let's do this. Let's do the Shaquille O'Neal joke. All right. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal uh, said that his kids uh, don't know that he was a basketball star. He explained that his kids have seen him shoot free free throw, so they assumed he was a journeyman player. <laughs> That's great. Very so fun. they know he played. He picked basketball. apart his worst part, <laughs> right? I still think he's funny. I can't wait to see Uncle Drew. Uh, you got another one. I, I I do have one. I can do one more, but okay. it's not very good. Cool. That's, okay. uh, that's, that's oh wait, this is okay. It's more of an observation, <laughs> not, not really a joke, but. Uh, which, you know, what are jokes but funny observations? Mm -hmm. Jerry, Seinfeld. Uh, okay. Weird how you can tell someone, have a nice day, and that's nice. But when you say, have a nice life, you sound like a total dick. Yeah. yeah. It's true, right? Yeah. So, have a nice life. It never comes out good. Right. But you're actually asking for something far better. Yeah. yeah. You just want a good day for somebody. Yeah. That's, like, so short-sighted. Say, hey, right. have, a, have a nice life. Right. Either, either way like, you say it. It's like, like when your aunt or uncle... Or cousin or grandma mm -hmm. gives you like a dollar, like, oh, cool. But when your parents like give you a whole place to stay and food and stuff, you're like, I hate you. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. it's so true. Yeah. yeah, that's very true. What's going on there? Yeah. Well, a study shows <laughs> cigarette smoking reaches new low in the United States when it cheated on its spouse <laughs> chewing tobacco with its hot new flame, the vape pen. No. Oh. <laughs> Right in front of its kids, those little candy cigars. <laughs> wow. Was the whole gamut of, uh, of tobacco-esque <laughs> products. The whole thing. Yeah. What, is, uh, what does Big League Chew have to say about that? Oh, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Big League Chew is like the cousin. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 right. the white trash cousin. Yeah, the cousin of the candy cigars. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm practice tobacco. Yeah. Um, so I have to do one more. Yeah. Uh, what should I do? I got a Lionel Richie joke. So many. I got a music jokes. Russian conductor. I got a. I did MC Escher. Um, I'll do. Um, yeah. Why not? Uh, uh, no, maybe not. Uh, yeah. Helen Hunt. <laughs> Helen Hunt. Uh, recently celebrated her fifty-fifth birthday. Or, or Lily Sobieski. <laughs> How mad were you when Bill uh, Paxton died? So you can't do that joke with Bill Pullman anymore. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know? that was a bit sad that day. was pretty much the main reason you were sad was because the joke to was do, dead. Yeah, I got to do. Uh, <coughs> fans are mourning the death of Bill Pullman. Yeah, that could yeah. be that punchline. And then one last when time. Bill Pullman dies, then I can do the Bill Paxton. Thing. Yeah, but yeah, but now it's hard to do. Well, now, but now you can kind of do it all when Chris Pratt uh, and uh, Chris Pine, Chris, Chris Evans, Hansen's, Chris Hemsworth, when they, all, when they all start kicking the bucket, you can really get you're, that going. That's yeah. going to be, you're going to be in your glory. Oh, you know, yeah. All them keep yeah. Start yeah. yeah. I'm going to be watching TV one night as like a six year old man. I'm going to hear like a late night TV show host <laughs> say those jokes. And I'm going to be like, they finally did it. Good job, man, sir. Yeah, you turn finally, on the TV. I killed all the Chris's so I could write a joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he killed them all. <laughs> Okay, well, let's, we should do uh, joke zero, figure out which one is which. So, I think I know which one mine is. We each nominate one of our own jokes. It's joke zero. Okay. So, I think I'll do for mine the Pew study finds Americans can tell fact from opinion, but I disagree with that. I believe a Pew study finds Americans can tell yeah. fact from opinion. I think that's yeah. your one. I agree. Yeah. That's a joke zero. Uh, I don't know what my joke zero is. Probably not MC Escher. Mm, it could be. Um, could it be? I'll say uh, Steve Miller and Peter Frampton are recording recording an album together. The album will be called <laughs> "Merry Christmas, Dad." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's that's the one. Actually. 
<laughs> I, I think if I was going to pick one, it would be my doctors recommend a healthy diet consists of 2000 calories a day, but it's tough to find one apple that's 2000 calories. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. that's a drug zero. That'll be in contention. So we're going to do a show sh shortly where we have all the drug zeros. Okay. Gonna, yeah. We're gonna uh, they're gonna, it's like a sort of a tournament. Yeah. That's a great. tournament of nerds, we'll call it. Right. <laughs> Oh, ah, yes, that's, that's a, what we can definitely call it that, right? Yeah, why not? It's, right? That's cleared. Yeah. It's, a, it's already a thing. Shoot. It's a thing okay. already. All right. We'll call it the Nerdist. Oh, oh, yeah. That's a name that's devoid of any <laughs> sort of uh, controversy. Yeah. No, I know. <laughs> no, we can't do There's that. There's another Chris that's not one of the other Chris's. Anyway. <laughs> we'll call it Louis C.K. Yeah, no. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's a person. Gosh, Mr. Who got in some trouble also. Mr. Negativity. We'll call it there. Hannah and her sisters. <laughs> that sounds fine. Okay, yeah. great. Good. We've landed fine. on it. It sounds relevant to the discussion. All right, everybody. We'll see you next time on Hannah and her, her sisters. sisters. <laughs> it's funny.